Yeah. <laughs> that was like the only famous Chinese rapper. She was just like, <laughs> now there's others. Like, there's others. No, I know. I, yeah, I know, but I, I still feel like you're kind of like the iconic. Okay, I'm, okay. I'll, I, I won't. I won't deny that. Humble. I won't deny that. No, no, no. I didn't choose to be humble. I got humbled. You're recording, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. I got humbled. Like I, yeah. So let's get let's get that out the way. People definitely shouldn't give me credit in terms of like, man, he's, you know, yeah. he's so humble now. It wasn't by choice. I got humbled and I'm thankful for it because I think it, uh, it just brought me back to reality. And I think the reality that I'm in right now is, as far as this particular topic, is, uh, you know, people do see me as something iconic. Yeah. And like I said, I don't want to get into a place where I'm like having debates with people like, no, I'm not iconic, you know, but... I'm also just being mindful of how I receive kind of praise like that, you know. But yeah, I mean, I am iconic, though. I am like, yeah, I, 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 as 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 humble as a person can say that statement, yeah. I am, you know. And I think, but my point is that iconic factor might not necessarily come from my own greatness. I think it comes from just man, as a young kid, I found something that I was really passionate about. I chased it. You know, without really thinking about mm -hmm. consequences, without yeah. thinking about the, the, the various factors that were working against me, yeah. that the world was more aware of than I was. I wasn't aware of it. Like when I was young and trying to get into hip hop, you know, I wasn't, I wasn't dwelling on, wait a minute, I'm Chinese, yeah. this is hip hop culture, there's gonna be all these things working against me. Like, it was apparent to me, but I didn't dwell on it. You yeah. know, like in my mind, I'm just like, Yo, I'm just trying to be the dopest MC, right? And I'm trying to get into this battle. I'm trying to get a record deal. I'm trying to, and 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 the passion I feel like is what allowed me to make any advancements, which you know that people see as 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 accomplishments. It was just sheer passion. Hey. I, I feel like you're rapping right now. <laughs> I am. You know what? It was actually let me let me let me amend that. It was sheer passion and also um and 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 innocence too. Yeah. Like passion combined with innocence, yeah, yeah. like meaning I was so innocent that I didn't even think about, I didn't think about the factors. Hi. Right. Let's just have a conversation, okay? Like, okay. I don't want it to be. This is a good direction to walk in because this is where I parked. Okay, that's, so that's right, good, good, good. When you see a car, you feel like yo, that's my car. <laughs> I'm in the lot, so okay. But okay, are you ready? Yeah. So what's up? Oh God, I'm nervous. When is it too late to become a YouTuber? Never. Okay, that's what I wanted to hear. <laughs> now, I, I mean, I would love for you to elaborate, but I'm gonna tell you where that question comes from. Okay. I have this thing where, I, I don't know, I unintentionally just equate, specifically with, with exploring the YouTube world and becoming yeah. a YouTuber, I, I just automatically associate when you start with yeah. how young you are. I don't know why. So. Uh -huh. That's why I asked, and you say never, so it's never too late to start. Yeah. Now, can you kind of like go a couple levels deeper in terms of why you say that? And what would your suggestions or insight be to someone who feels that way? Like, nah, it's too late. Not only just because of like the person's age, but also because of like, yo, there's like so, I'm not talking about me specifically, but also the feeling of like, yo, that person's already at 1.5 million subscribers. I'm at 36. Yeah. I okay, I because it's, it's very like it's overwhelming and yeah. it's daunting and it's like okay maybe I should just continue on with my other stuff. So this might not be specifically for me. I'm asking on behalf of all the people out there who may feel this way. Yeah, um, I just think that like age ain't nothing but a number one. Okay. And two, it's like you shouldn't compare yourself with the people that already have those amount of subscribers because that's the only person you should be competing yourself against is yourself. That's it. That's always how it is. Mm. And to start like. From the, uh, sorry, from the, no. Uh, to start from, you know, from nothing, but, you know, like you already see how the successful YouTubers have done it. So yeah. you just gotta follow their footsteps and do it again, but even better. Ah, and, so, like, they already, make, the they already made the mistakes of, like, going through all the things yeah. that, like, we didn't have to go through. Got it. So you That's just true. learn from their mistakes and then you apply it to yourself. So, like, you know, even, like, for me, I started when I was, I don't even know, 25. Yeah. 25 with a kid. Um, graduated wow. from college, quit my corporate job, and started with doing makeup. And you know how everyone says that you should have like a niche, yeah. right? But yeah. I don't have one. I I, I just want to be myself in front of a camera. And Simply like, you. <laughs> yeah. Okay. But yeah, that's my answer. Okay, that's good. That's what I needed to hear. 
Now I don't have to close my YouTube channel down. I was this close, I was on the verge. Nah, I mean, I think the thing is, if I can piggyback off of what you just said. Yeah. So, people don't see me as a YouTuber because I'm, I'm, I'm technically not. I don't fall under that. But the thing is, if we go back to before like YouTube, you know, became the big thing, even before like Instagram, Twitter, and all these various social media platforms, yo, I mean, once again, not to pat myself on the back, because it wasn't out of ingenuity, it was out of just desperate measures. Well, no, I, what I was gonna say is, I've always been very active on the internet. Yeah. So like, meaning like, back when um, Zanga was the craze, okay. or when MySpace just started, AsianAvenue.com, like, I was super duper active on these different platforms. But like I said, I think it was a combination of, man, I, I, just, need, I just need to use every method possible to raise awareness for who I am and what I do. And then along with that, I think this is the thing that kind of helped me too, kind of establish somewhat of a firm and solid foundation in terms of fan base, is because I was like genuinely, sincerely, co like committed and, and pouring myself into those platforms. So meaning like, yeah, stuff like just simple interaction, you know, like actually going to other people's Zanga pages, leaving yeah. e-props, uh, responding to their comments, or on Facebook, I mean, not even Facebook, but or on MySpace, I was like commenting on people's pictures, yeah. and then like when I post a bulletin and people would respond, yeah. I would respond yeah. back. Yeah, absolutely. Even if we go one step further back, AOL chat rooms. Oh my god. I used to use AOL chat rooms. Check out my rap. Yeah, like AOL chat rooms like it was, the, the best way I could describe it is, it was like a marketing tool that I wasn't using as a marketing tool, which is why it was effective. Because I didn't use it like, yo, I'm going to use this, this, I'm going to use AIM as, as a marketing tool. No, I was using AIM to like have chats and people would come in, talk about, yo, Jin, man, when are you going to do this? When are you coming? And I would just interact. And I guess essentially that's what all the, you know, the, the, the craze is now, right? Artists have to do, um, they have to do use streams. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They have to do, you know, uh, uh, Facebook kind of contests. They have to do these Instagram, you know, tag five friends. And yeah, yeah. I'm saying it's cool. Like that's, it's just interesting that well, I realize I've always been so active yeah. in it. Yeah, 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 yeah. So. Can I share with you how I found you? Or yeah, yeah, yeah. Discovered yeah. Discovered Yeah. It's one of the parks. Yes. Like, because I always say I'm made in China. They're always just like, oh, where are you from? I was like, ah, oh, I'm made in China. Yes. And then, and that one line, oh my God, everything. I was just like, I, I, I think I've watched that video over like a hundred times. You want to say I'm Chinese? Here's a reminder. Check your Tims. They probably say, made in China. I thought you were going to say, <laughs> what the heck, yo? We rehearsed that like 89 times. She got it on the rehearsals, but I don't know what happened.